In this demo, we will show how to set up the Anybus Wireless Bolt to establish a wireless connection between a PLC and a mobile device like a cell phone or iPad. In the scenario we're using, we have a machine which is controlled by PLC and we want to use a mobile device as an HMI to do configuration and analysis. Now the wireless bolt can connect via Bluetooth or wireless LAN. Wireless LAN is really good for fast data transfer, almost as fast as another famous bolt. Bluetooth or Bluetooth Low Energy gives us a stronger wireless connection. The force is strong with the bolt. Anyway, so I've connected the wiring between the wireless bolt and the PLC inside the machine according to the pinning diagram in the installation guide. The wireless bolt can connect and communicate with any PLC using Ethernet, CAN or serial communication. I have also connected a PC to the wireless bolt using an Ethernet cable in order to set up the wireless connection. So let's have a look at how to access the wireless bolt from my PC. The default address of the bolt is 192.168.0.99, so the same IP address needs to be set on the PC port the first time we're logging in, so we can access the wireless bolt. So I open up the PC Network and Sharing Center, and go to the Local Area Connection. I click Properties to change the Internet Protocol version 4. I click Properties again and set it to use the same range as the bolt, 192.168.0 and then I choose 20 since I know that this address is free on my network. I set the subnet mask to be the standard 255.255.255.0. That's all I need to do here, so I click OK and Close. By looking at the details I can now see that we have the correct IP range for the wireless bolt. I can now enter the wireless bolt's web interface by typing in 192.168.0.99. The first thing I need to do is to activate the DHCP server of the wireless bolt so that my handheld device will get an IP address automatically. To do this, I go to Network Settings. I still want the IP assignment of the bolt to be static, but I want to enable the DHCP server. This means that clients connecting to the bolt will have a DHCP assigned address. We can see that the Save and Reboot button down here is now highlighted. This is because we've changed the settings and the wireless bolt needs to be rebooted to apply these settings. I have a few more settings to make, so I'll do this later. Next I go to the wireless LAN settings, where I set up how I want the wireless bolt to communicate with the handheld device. By default, the wireless bolt is set to be a client, but in this case we want it to be an access point so that several handheld devices as my phone can connect. There can be up to seven different clients connected to the wireless bolt at one time. We call the wireless network Bolt Demo and we definitely want to use the WPA2 authentication method to avoid unwanted access to the PLC. I select a WPA2 passkey, let's say Bolt Demo, for this demonstration. This is what I need to enter into the phone later on when I connect. The last thing we need to do here is to specify the channel on which the bolt should communicate on the wireless LAN network. We can select between the channels 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Now we want to select a channel that is as disturbance free as possible. I happen to know that channel 1 is the best choice in my particular building. I can check this with a network scanner that's built into the wireless bolt. If I change the operating mode back to Client, I can see the Scan for Networks button. By clicking this, we can see that we have a pretty noisy environment here at HMS, with a lot of traffic on channel 6 and 11, which are both on the 2.4 GHz range. So I choose channel 1, which is the furthest away from any other occupied channel. Alright, so I go back to the Access Point mode, and I'm now done with my setup. I click Save and Reboot, and I'm now ready to connect to my PLC via the wireless bolt. In my PLC program, I've set up the PLC to have the address 192.168.0.50. This is in the same range as the wireless bolt. I can choose any number between 8 and 98 and 100 to 255. This is because the first seven numbers are assigned to the different clients by the bolt's DHCP server, and 99 is the wireless bolt itself. Okay, so I can now simply go into my phone 
and enable Wi-Fi, where I see that the Bolt demo network now shows up. I enter the password, which as you remember was Bolt demo, and I click join. OK, we're now connected. We have a checkbox here and I can see in the information pane that we've been assigned an IP address by the DHCP server, 192.168.0.1 in this case. So we can now fire up the web browser and access the PLC by simply typing in its IP address. This was 192.168.0.50. And I can see that I'm now connected to the PLC wirelessly using the Anibus wireless bolt.